I know it's not exactly a hot take to say that Russell Wilson is better than Teddy Bridgewater, but at the same time, I guess there is at least a little bit of debate about how much of an upgrade is he, but I think he's a massive upgrade. I think that it really helps to get an upgrade at quarterback just in general, but especially when you're going from a guy who is debatably a top five quarterback in football, uh, you, you know, from kind of a, a solid starter, but not, nothing too spectacular. Let's get into the film and let's talk about a play like this, because this is a great example of just what Russell Wilson's going to bring to your football team that someone like Teddy Bridgewater and certainly Drew Locke would not bring, which is just the ability to make something happen out of nothing, where what's going to happen on this play, it's going to be kind of a, a clever blitz concept here. And as you see, right when this play begins, Wilson notices that there is a window for him to run with the football. Now, there's not really anything open downfield, but again, this is what having a Russell Wilson on your team can do is he can just add stuff to the team that other guys can't. Look, he's going to break the rules of the game, essentially, right? That's not how it was supposed to work. You drew up a play that was designed to work a certain way. It didn't work out that way. And yet, Russell Wilson still picks up a first down because he can use his legs. And yes, he still can use his legs. I know he had a bit of a rough stretch in the middle of the season last year. But like for the most part, when he was healthy, he looked good. And this was a game where he looked healthy and was good. There's also stuff like this where, again, is this better than like what an average quarterback would do? Is this better than what Teddy Bridgewater would do? Certainly up for debate. But it's a really good play, and it's something that he can do consistently. Where what's going to happen is, again, it's a blitz. This is the cover zero blitz. So one-on-ones all across the board. And watch what happens once Wilson knows, notices it. Russ takes the snap, and at this point, point so down the field you see Tyler Lockett with a one-on-one -on -one matchup typically you want to take that one-on-one -on -one matchup especially when he's going up one-on-one -on -one against the safety pretty good situation and this is something that Wilson can notice so this is the correct thing to do on this play is throw it up to your preferred matchup usually you want to try the safety here which is a throw over the middle against a type of concept you know that's what happened uh one Cooper Cup won the game against Tampa Bay, and now I forever hate Cooper Cup. It was a very similar thing. Russell Wilson is, much like Matthew Stafford, uh, you know, on that play, going to notice this and going to make the right play. As you see, Wilson is going to put this one in a perfect location. Now, again, Lockett had to kind of weirdly react to the ball because he thought it was going to go towards the left. It went to the right, but Wilson put it where he wanted to put it, even in kind of a high-stress situation, and this is what's going to help out the Broncos receivers is I don't know how consistently at least they were getting those types of plays. Maybe Bridgewater could do it, but would he do it as consistently as Russell Wilson? No, he wouldn't have. And Drew Locke would have just panicked if he saw a blitz. So we don't, we don't have to worry about that part. I'm being mean to Drew Locke. He wasn't a horrible quarterback, but just again, when you're going from him to Russell Wilson, you feel pretty good about it. Going over to this play now, this is a good example of kind of just more of a traditional play. But again, I think it's worth mentioning, Wilson doesn't just do the spectacular stuff. He doesn't just use his legs, and that's his only benefit. He runs an offense very well. That's something that he can do with consistency. And this is an example where it's really typically going to be that middle route that's going to be open on this bootleg where you run a play action to your left, roll out to your right, and you have three options. Typically, it's the medium option that gets open. Not always. And if that's not the option, you have to be ready to throw it somewhere else. But that's where you typically expect the play to work. As you see, you're going to have a play like this where Russell Wilson does get outside and that middle option is working. Now, it's not wide open by any means, but it's a throw that Wilson should make. Wilson does make it and you're able to pick up a big chunk play. And again, I think most people will look at that play and say, all right, well, Bridgewater could have made that play. Bridgewater, again, solid quarterback, not a superstar, but solid. And I think that's fair. However, again, it's a, just a consistency thing. And Russell Wilson is going to do that 20 out of 20 times. And Bridgewater might have done that 18 out of 20 times. So you're getting additional value just through that. And also going over here now, there was some stuff like this that I saw from in Broncos games where you had guys getting open and it just wasn't working, even with Bridgewater out there. Again, I don't want to use Locke as the measurement because like, I think we knew it was it's time to move off of Locke, but Bridgewater was at least like solid and not a trash quarterback. So for Bridgewater, it kind of feels a, a little bit, I guess, just more fair to compare Wilson and Bridgewater. Again, obviously Wilson's better, but see, to see how much better and how much of an improvement they get. Play like this, you have a go route towards the sideline. Typically with two safeties deep, these types of plays are difficult, but since it's kind of more of a, the two safeties are going to be kind of covering more of the middle of the field area a little bit more, 
The sidelines actually can get open on this play. And as you see, when Bridgewater takes the snap, he does notice that, hey, there is an open player who you can throw to. And quite frankly, this is about as open as it gets at the in the NFL level. This is Cortland Sutton, and he is just completely wide open. And I'm actually very much looking forward to seeing how Wilson and Sutton pair together. I think that could work really well because Sutton kind of, I feel like his skill sets match Wilson's skill sets a little. But anyways, you see how despite Sutton getting wide open, throw is just a bit too far and Sutton quite can't quite make the catch. Nobody really, I think maybe you could argue nobody is a better deep ball thrower than Russell Wilson. I think he's at least up there. Okay, Mahomes is really good. I don't know if Mahomes is as accurate as Wilson is down the field. He can throw it harder, but is he going to be as accurate consistently? I don't know. Russell Wilson is really consistently accurate down the field, and down the field, I feel like accuracy tends to matter more than arm strength. So getting someone who can allow these big plays to happen, I mean, that's a huge play. Games are won or lost on plays like that sometimes. So adding Russell Wilson, who is undoubtedly going to be able to hit those consistently, like, yeah, that helps. Finally, something like this is another one I want to talk about. Uh, I'm not going to spend forever breaking it down early on, but this is just a another good example of the value that a star quarterback brings to a football team. So watch what happens. As you see, Bridgewater takes a snap. He's going to run a play action. And right here, you could maybe make any of these throws down the field. There also is a check down, but nothing is that open. This is good defense. And with a solid quarterback like Bridgewater, when plays like this happen, there's not really much you can do about it. Watch, as you see, Bridgewater eventually just, you know, is going to do about as good of a job as you can ask for. He throws the ball away. And again, would Wilson have been able to do much better? I don't know. But I'm just saying, again, if we're talking consistency, you put Wilson in these situations, he can scramble out. Eventually, someone gets open, makes a throw, and makes a great play, or even just runs and picks up yards that way. There's more things that he can do than a Teddy Bridgewater can do. So the fact that you have someone like Wilson, when plays are dead, then what you can do is they are no longer dead, and they still have some life. And that's the excitement with having a Russell Wilson. Again, I know I'm not exactly breaking anybody's brain by saying Wilson is better than Bridgewater. I'm just trying, kind of trying to explain why it's so valuable to get that upgrade and why it can add so much to a team and why it can be worth multiple first round picks and spending a ton of money more to get a player like that because of that extra value that you know, quite frankly, it's really hard to win a Super Bowl with a Teddy Bridgewater. In fact, I don't know if it can be done at this point in the NFL, just with the way the rules are, you know, you have to be able to score now, and Russell Wilson can score. So that's the excitement for Broncos fans. Uh, really good trade from their perspective, and Russell Wilson, I think, will fit in well with the Denver Broncos. That's what I think. Again, uh, I'm sure all of you will be very upset at me that I said Russell Wilson is better than Teddy Bridgewater. How could I? What a hot take. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.